top three questions I get asked on this channel. What does the Amazon Relay load board look like? How do I book loads? And when I book those loads, how do I stay so local? These are the relay rates for Sunday, August 11th. Let's get into those SoCal relay rates. All right, as always, going to throw some chapters in this. Uh, feel free to skip ahead to your section. Not going to spend a ton of time in San Diego. i uh, going to look at like recommended loads. We'll take a look at some spot capacity that I've received lately. And then we're going to do what we came to do, which is look at Knoxville, Tennessee for Mark for Mark Fillar. He's been on my list for the longest time. That random number generator has it's been hating him, not picking him. So made the executive decision last time to go ahead and do Knoxville, Tennessee. He's been on my list the longest. And then when we get through with that, we're gonna pick next time's winner. If you wanna see your name end up on a list where I kinda randomly select a new city each week, let me know in the comments. Let me know, hey, I'd like to see this on relay rates. I'd like to see this in long format. If you just say, what is 26 foot truck, what, or, you know, what's 26 foot equipment look like in Denver? I'm gonna assume you want a load board video and that's what I'm gonna make you. If you wanna see it long format though, let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and jump into this here. Recommended loads. Pull up the load board here. Load board. So recommended, it has not been great lately. Part of part of this whole thing that I do, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd love to show you only when it's great. I think that that would be highly unethical I think it's time you know it's important for you to see things like this as well too but uh recommended loads HSD2 three total stop or three one pick three stops total of four ending up in Vegas 276 a mile uh, another HSD2 let's just see where these stops are so they've got you starting here in San Diego going down to San 3 going all the way to Arizona okay so that 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 changes things and then from Arizona heading up to Vegas uh, they say, let's see, is that a dollar thirty-five a mile? Oh, the first one was two seventy-six for three hundred. Oh, yeah, that was a dollar seventy-six a mile for six hundred and thirty-seven miles. Again, not great. HSD two heading to Bakersfield, one ninety-three a mile. Sand three heading up to Oakley, or I'm sorry, Tracy. Oak is uh, O A K four is Tracy. Um, yeah, so that's a dollar sixty-seven a mile. Here's a local little run. Um, you know, uh, I'm not gonna get up in the middle of the night. I'm not gonna commit my night to a two hundred dollar run. But here's Sand Five heading to Vista. One pick, one stop. Taking a trailer up there. Three sixty-eight a mile. Two ten payout. Sand Five going to Bakersfield. Two ten a mile. Let's see if there's any box trucks on here. The, oh, this one was interesting. This one, I was actually gonna put this into a different video. I don't wanna accidentally book this. This was a trailer required, but look on here. It says, this trip has an adjustable pickup time. I've never seen this before. I've heard of it. I've never seen it. If you click on here, it's trailer required. I'm not gonna take my trailer down to Otai for $166. But look at this. You can go on here and say like, okay, my arrival time. And then you have a little slider here where you could actually select your time. I don't want to, to carefully get out of this because I don't want to accidentally book it and then be committed to that. But yeah, you, you have a adjustable pickup time. That's new. I, I see that as a, a win for us. Um, let's see here, box trucks, here we go. So we have 53 foot equipment not doing great in San Diego, 26 foot seems to be doing okay. Uh, Sand 5 ending up in Calexico, 338, 556 payout. 164 total miles. Sand 5 ending up in Takati, 611 a mile. This one not so much, 256 a mile to go to Borrego Springs. Uh, 26 foot box truck going out to Heber, California. One pick, four stops, total of five. Uh, 299 a mile. San Diego to Warner Springs, uh, 478 payout, $1.93. Not really interested in that. San Diego ending up in Anza, 311 a mile. 564 payout, uh, Sand 5 going to Murrieta, 275 a mile, Warner Springs buck 91, Paris buck 92. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Let's look at that spot capacity here. Let's get over here and look at spot capacity. I've gotten a bunch of this lately, but uh, Amazon, since Prime Day, the rates kind of went down from that, which was like two weeks ago. I haven't hauled a single load for Amazon. Their, their rates have just been, in my opinion, terrible. And considering their expectations, I just have not really been willing to work for them. I've been working with a bunch of other brokers, that type of stuff. Uh, let's see here, 6.51 p.m. This came through like an hour ago. Uh, DPS5 going to Culver City, 143, call that 144 miles. Their offer is 5.30. This is your one and only time to request a higher rate from Amazon. 
Uh, 5.06 a.m. this morning, Sand 3 down here by me, Sand 3 going to DSD1, VCA4. So staying in San Diego, 41 miles, 250, it was what they were offering. Uh, let's see here, 53 foot for Oxnard, OXR1. Ending up, let's see, starting in Oxnard, going to DPS5. So it looks like a round trip to Oxnard because you, you start at OXR1, end at OXR1, 45 miles. Their offer, 369. Uh, 53 foot for ABQ. Is this really ABQ? Uh, let's see, ABQ. I don't know why I'm getting this. I, I don't uh, ever really go. Usually you get spot capacity for areas that you service. I've never serviced anywhere in New Mexico for Amazon. Uh, this was a team load, 682 miles, $2,452. This is going from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Wilmer, Texas. I think they sent me that one by mistake. And then let's see, yesterday, Sand 5. It looks like uh, 44 miles. So this is a one way going from Sand 5 to Poway, DSD 8, uh, 44 miles. It's actually 41 miles. If you take the 15 to Scripps Poway Road and go in that way off of Kirkham, it's 41 miles, not 44. Their offer was 298. So not bad for a little, you know, quick little trip. That'll take you. What time was this? 615 in the morning on a what day. Was that a Saturday? Yeah, I could do that run probably in less than an hour. So, I mean, it, you know, 15 minutes safety inspecting a trailer probably 45 minutes up there and then disconnecting from it getting out of there I, I could probably get that done in like an hour and 15 minutes so not a bad little use of time let's do what we came to do which was look at uh, Knoxville Tennessee for Mark Falar. let's go in here I'm gonna build that off of a San Diego search actually I'm just gonna say Knoxville Knoxville Tennessee we will look at 53 foot equipment first. Let's do power only and trailer required. Apply that, search loads, and it immediately tells me, let's turn this auto refresh off. So here's what I like to look at first. Knoxville, Tennessee, 53 foot equipment within 50 miles. There's 148 results. Let's expand that out to 75. Still 148 results. Let's expand that out to 100. 162 results. So it kind of seems like the sweet spot there is somewhere between like 50 and 75 miles. I don't think those changed much. So let's do 50 miles and let's change this around by price. Oh, you know what? I can't do price per distance highest because it defaults to blocks. Let's take blocks out of there. Price per distance highest. Right now, top money on the board. One pick, one stop. TYS5, Maryville going to Knoxville, 895 a mile. How come that's a 26 foot box truck? I thought we said, that's so strange. I don't have box trucks selected at all, as you can see. Let's apply that. They've done this before and this drives me crazy. Okay, for some reason they're showing me box trucks in the seat. See, you can see with my equipment selected, I've got power only and tractor trailer, box truck isn't selected. If I had all the confidence in the world that Amazon were working right now and I'm like, oh, I'm looking at 53 foot loads, 895 a mile isn't bad and I book that and it's like, oh wait, that's for a 26 foot box truck. Guess who that falls on? That falls on me. Uh, they're gonna say that you ultimately selected that. You can see clear as day, I do not have box trucks selected at all. And I apply that, and what's the number one result? A box truck. So, you know what, normally I split these up into box trucks and to 53 foot equipment. We're just gonna do them both together since they're showing me everything. Let's go ahead and throw box trucks into this. We'll say all, and apply that. Still 148 results, they're still showing me box trucks, so I still think that that's all in there. All right, so Maryville to Knoxville, 26 foot box truck, 895 a mile, 196. Next one down, box truck, Maryville to Knoxville, same load. Uh, third one down, next uh, exact same load. Mar this one, Maryville to Seymour. One pick, two stops, 26 foot box truck, 665 a mile, 206. Kind of drives me crazy doing it this way because normally I like to split them up. I mean, it, I, I'm just, you can see I have everything selected and it's just showing me uh, all box trucks at this moment. A little fault within the uh, Amazon software. Maryville to Oh God, I love it when I get to these I can't pronounce. Severville, Severville. Let me know in the comments. Uh, one pick, one stop, 591 a mile, $200 payout. I'm willing to bet that this, so TYS5 seems like a big player in there. This, let's see what the address this shows me. It's guaranteeing this is a post office. Going to 7-Eleven, Dolly Parton Parkway in Severville. 
another box truck, Maryville to Knoxville, 581 a mile. Uh, let's see, three stops on that one. Let's see where these three stops are at. Uh, so it's got to start at TYS5, going to 226 Keller Lane, then heading to 4334 Middlebrook Pike, and then to 131 Linwood Drive. Betting those are all post office locations. Uh, another 26 foot box truck, Maryville to Knoxville, 557 a mile. Maryville to Powell, uh, 543 a mile. 508, these are all box trucks. 495 a mile, going from Maryville to Seymour. 485 a mile, Maryville to Knoxville, one pick, three stops. Can we get to any 53 on here, or are they just going to show me all box trucks? Box truck, box truck, box truck. There's a cube truck, so 16 foot truck. Going from Maryville to Jefferson, 263 a mile. Are we just gonna look at box trucks? Does Amazon have any 53 foot equipment in Knoxville? If they do, it's gonna be less than 229 a mile because that's what we're down to. I feel like this is a glitch. I just wanna be sure. Okay, let's take box trucks out of this and let's just do power only and apply that. Okay, five results. <laughs> maybe that's the trick. Maybe if they think tractor and trailer, maybe they're tractor and trailer assuming box truck. I've never seen them do that before, but let's apply this and let's look at these five loads. Not great right now. I'm assuming these are the five. I'm gonna double check this in the app. But um, so here's Maryville to Shreveport, one pick, total of, or two stops, total of three. Uh, TYS5 going to TYS1 and then TYS1 to Shreveport. Let's see here. So that TYS5 is 210 Partnership Parkway going down to uh, Pine Lake Drive in Louisville. And then SHV1 is going to 1625 Corporate Drive in Shreveport, Louisiana. Top money on the board is $1.31. Then we go down to Louisville to Charlotte, $1.26. Louisville to Davenport and look at that <laughs> eight stops and they say it's going to take three days 22 hours so let's call that four days for a dollar 26 a mile Louisville to Omaha Nebraska one pick one stop I like that what I don't like is the dollar 26 a mile and then let's see here Louisville to Omaha Nebraska it looks like so let's see Chattanooga according to this is 91.54 miles away and look at the price jump so like right now right here right now looking at uh looking at Knoxville not great in Knoxville if you're willing to go 91.54 miles of deadhead to Chattanooga now they've got loads for 995 but I'm not tripping out on that because it's only a 193 dollar payout Chattanooga to oh good here we go again Muffreesboro. I'm sure I'm butching that. Probably gonna end up on a website for saying it that way. Muffreesboro. Oh, that's good. Again, let me know in the comments. 280 a mile, 431 payout. Again in Chattanooga, 279 a mile, 429 payout. Back to that other place. And then Chattanooga to Stone Mountain, $1.89 a mile. I just want to verify here Knoxville, 50 miles, power only five results let's jump over to the app and just see i never use the load board in the app but let me just take a look here and see okay oh i have my settings turned off i haven't been working for them so i turned my uh we'll go ahead and go back to always yes that's fine just talking to somebody the other day they were asking if i thought that made a difference i've been doing a little experiment all right load board and let's see here i never use this so I'm gonna get through this here. Let's see here. How do I search in the load board on the app? Here we go. Uh, origin, Knoxville, Tennessee, back 50 miles, equipment. We don't have the box trucks in there. And then let's just search that. Apply four filters. And they say there's now six results. Now let's just compare these six to the other six. Maybe they just added this one because this one says the little lock there is unlocked. This uh, Louisville to Hebron, Kentucky, 
uh, 239 a mile. Let me see if it's over on the app. So let's see if I refresh this, if there's now, okay, there are now six and look at that's, so it's right. I mean, I just wanted to verify it from the web and from the app, it is right that there are, there were five, there's now six in this new one, little unlock thing. You get that by having early access. Um, I'm not tripping out on 239 a mile for early access. That's not a, I mean, the, the, the lock just means that your grade is a 98% or, or above. Um, but yeah, so that's the new one. There really are only six results out of Knoxville right now within 50 and I think 75 miles was the same. Yeah, six results. So Mark Falar, I hope that answers your question. I wish the numbers were better right now, but I can't control the results. I can just, uh, I, I pick to do these at different times. We took care of him. Let's delete him out of here. Delete row. I have four names on my list. Let's pick next time's winner. I need to go to a random number generator. Random number generator. And it was one through four, right? My short term memory shot. Yep, one through four. One through four. And again, you want your name on this list? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to see this area. One through four and generate. Number one, it never picked one before, not picked one this time. Who is number one now? Number one is Jumpy YT, Columbus, Ohio. We're doing that one next.